Hello and namaste everybody. It's been a little bit of time since I've posted any videos. Um, life's been a little bit on the move for me and changing and um, going through change can be rough, can be stressful. And someone like me, if you're like me and uh, you have a history of kind of grappling with uh, depression and anxiety um, and even just the, the ebbs and flows of stress um, that navigation of when life hits roadblocks and snags and, and things like that can be really really triggering um, and especially when those ebbs and flows kind of become almost this flat line of stress where it's this low level constant insidious thing um, and it just it feels like a heaviness on you where it's like you don't even realize necessarily that you're stressed or bummed out or heavy-hearted until you wake up and you realize you've been kind of moving like you're underwater and you're like what's going on why am I feeling this way and and why are the same things that I normally do not bringing me the same joy and and it's and it's a call to snapping yourself back into um, living on purpose so I want to share something that really helps me when I'm in the moment of anxiety that if you know what I mean it's not necessarily um, a panic attack but those moments where you might be crying or you might not see a way out of it and and you feel trapped your breath might be ragged um, and it's like your physical body feels like there's danger right and it's it's this high moment of stress and um, something that I've been using as a tool when those moments just get really bigger than me is a four to six count breath and it's just like what it sounds it's really simple it's an inhale to the count of four and an exhale to the count of six and so when I'm in that moment and if I'm really stressed out and if I'm kind of feel like I'm crumbling I can not really get myself to do anything else right it's like I can't think of mantras I can't do an entire yoga practice I can't whatever is your normal um, go-to that kind of calms you down it's not always doable right when you're in that heightened moment so I find it very accessible very easy for me to breathe in for four and out for six takes me a few rounds in for four out for six and several things happen when I do that um, the crying stops you can't sob if you're if you're controlling breath in and out through the nose try it um, and when that stops, everything just kind of hones in to being really present within your body. So the thoughts are trying to go out here, 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 and, and you're unraveling from your center. Finding that breath, just bringing your awareness to it, slowing it down, is bringing you, snapping right back into your body and into your presence. The other thing that's happening when you access or you um, emphasize your exhale to the inhale is your sending your body an actual like message right that it's time to calm down that you have the ability to breathe out longer than your inhale that is actually directly poking and um, lighting up your parasympathetic nervous system which is sending those the signals um, from body to brain and back and forth that the danger is gone that you are safe that you are fine. So there's levels, there's there's physical, emotional, mental levels to this very simple breath. At the very end of the day for me, I don't need to know all of the science behind it to know that it helps me come back into my moment and get a hold on my life and myself and just soothe myself. It is the ultimate soother, okay? So let's try it together. You might be on the ground on your back. You might be seated in a chair or cross-legged. You can even do this when you're in the car, by the way. Just don't close your eyes. 
but exhale all of the air out first. Breathe in through the nose to a count of four, three, two, one. And exhale to a count of six, five, four, three, two, one. In for four, three, two, one. Out for six, five, four, three, two, one. One more, four, three, two, one. Out for six, five, four, three, two, one. One more, and we'll big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. So if all you have is the space of three breaths to take, to bring yourself a little peace throughout your hectic day, or maybe you need help getting to sleep at night, or you need a calming start to your morning, take those three breaths. Maybe you have space for 10, 15, 20, set a timer for whatever your meditation, however much you need. If you have that luxury, it's going to be soothing. It's going to be calming. So if you are going to do it longer, I do recommend it at the end of the day and when you're totally relaxed. Um, but I hope it brings you a little bit of peace because it's been bringing me some. Thanks. Namaste.